everyone and welcome back to another story time video and today i am going to talk about nostalgia so this video might be admittedly all over the place but i hope the gameplay is at least entertaining and fun uh for you today uh anyway so yeah uh Nostalgia. And that word, uh, just is, I, I don't know how to describe it. It just has a lot of deep meaning to it, I guess. But, um, uh, I've been feeling pretty nostalgic recently, and, um, uh, I'm trying to save one or two Halloween stories for Halloween, and not, uh, late September. Because as much as I, I, I want it to kind of cool down, uh, outside, and fall is great, by the way. So as much as I want it to be fall, and to watch the leaves fall from the trees, and, uh, you know, be able to feel the nice, cool, crisp autumn air. I'm going to save that for next month. So, this, this story time video is going to be about nostalgia. Now, uh, I'm going to try to segment and divide this video up in the best way that I can. So... In terms of my childhood, now I have made a whole story time video of talking about uh, some of my childhood memories. I could definitely make another story time video or two about uh, my childhood alone and have it covering new things that I haven't discussed before. Uh, but, uh, in terms of my childhood, uh, I Google mapped, uh, well, Google earthed, well, Google mapped with the street view, uh, the old school that I went to, uh, before I went to high school. And it's been a long time since I went to that school. And so, I street viewed it in Google Maps to see how it is now. Uh, it it definitely looks uh, recognizable to where it was before. But, uh, you know, of course things change. Uh, that is the only thing that doesn't change is that change is inevitable. So, of course, I know there's going to be some changes to stuff that happened to me previously in my life. It's just a matter of how much time has passed since then impacts how much, well, can impact how much change uh, has happened to that particular thing or a person in uh, some cases. Um, but... I, uh, you know, I went down a nostalgia trip, and I went to, uh, several of those streets around, uh, where I went to that school, and around my high school and stuff, and, uh, since it was the summer, looking at the satellite view, the, uh, football field wasn't, uh, in playing condition, uh, it was in summer condition. What I mean by that is that the hash marks and the end zone and the midfield logo wasn't really there. But now that it's September, if I look today, yes, it would be, assuming the uh, satellite view is updated. Um, and uh, it just makes me w w wish or makes me miss stuff, man. And, uh, 
I guess I'm fumbling over my words because I'm just thinking about, uh, I don't know, I guess I just miss, uh, that stuff. And, um, I don't miss that stuff because I, um, well, in particular stuff before high school, because, I mean, my life is great, so, so it's not like me reminiscing about the good times. No, not so much that I, I didn't value, uh, how good, uh, stuff was, uh, while I was in elementary school and middle school. It just, I just didn't appreciate it, uh, like I should have, and I guess that's why I, uh, miss, uh, those times, and, uh, In terms of YouTube, I've been watching a lot of uh, Filthy Frank recently, and uh, I uh, didn't know about him until I got into high school. But still, uh, I just I just think about not only that, but think about the uh, annoying oranges of the world and uh, Fred. Does anybody remember Fred? And when he was the number one YouTuber on this platform, does anybody remember that? Nobody talks about about nobody talks about it nowadays, and it's just a time and a chunk of YouTube history that I remember from growing up, and I remember back when I found Annoying Orange. Hilarious. I remember that. And nowadays, I don't think it's that funny. I mean, my my sense of humor has changed since then. That's why I don't really find it funny nowadays. And by the way, I'm not really critical of anybody and what they find funny. I mean, if if you find something that I don't find funny, great. But... If you find something that I find something funny that I also find funny, more power to you. I mean, I'm glad we can agree that something is absolutely hilarious that we both agree on it. But regardless, yeah, I uh, definitely remember those times where uh, Fred was the biggest YouTuber on the platform. And uh, it was basically slapstick. Uh, comedy, like, like I remember there was one video where he was riding his bike, well, maybe it was his sister's bike, I don't quite remember, around his backyard, and, uh, he ran into his, to the slide that he had and fell over and just screamed. And when I was that young, for some reason, I just... I don't know, I guess it's because I was a little kid, but I just found that hilarious. But, yeah, I just think back to the times in elementary and middle school, just doing homework, and even though I didn't like doing homework, and I would hate doing homework now. I mean, I didn't like doing homework in college. I mean, it was all right, but I absolutely hated homework as a kid. When I was starting to grow up, well, mature a little bit, I uh, realized, well, I started to realize the value of uh, homework and looking stuff up on your own and educating yourself beyond what the uh, teacher was teaching you. Because the teacher, especially if it's like history, can't really teach you everything that there is about that. Because for certain things, there's just a lot to cover, especially with world history. I mean, U.S. history, maybe you'll be able to cover uh, quite a bit during a school year, but... With world history, it's like, okay, well, where do you start? 
to be able to finish. And it's like, well, well, you got to learn how to pace uh, the class and be able to get everything done that uh, you want to get done. But regardless, my my point is, is that when I was maturing, like I said, I was starting to look stuff up on my own and understanding the true value of homework and all that stuff. So, um, but yeah, I just remember learning about uh, fractions and Roman numerals and thinking that was tough back then and heck for eight year old me maybe that was really tough <laughs> I, mean, I mean it was but now i look back on that and i'm like that was simple compared to the stuff that i've learned in the past and that i'm now implementing on a daily basis i mean i um i don't use math every day but I still use math uh, fairly frequently uh, to the point where it really matters. I mean, granted, I don't use complex math on a daily basis like, like an engineer would. I mean, I'm, I'm an IT guy, so I see numbers and stuff like that on a daily basis. But... But it's not like I'm using the most basic math. I mean, I'm using math that's more complex than that. But still, I mean, just because you're not going to use it every day when you get out into the working world doesn't mean it isn't valuable to you or could become valuable to you later. Because I didn't know... I. I hadn't settled on uh, doing IT, and I'll uh, talk about this uh, in a couple months. But but I hadn't settled on uh, doing IT until I was a senior in high school. Like my my junior year, I was trying to decide between A and B. I'm not going to say what B was, but I was trying to decide between IT and something else. That can be for the video in a couple of months. Anyway, uh, my, 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 my point is that I just remember thinking that some of the stuff that we learned was a bit ridiculous, but it might not be ridiculous in the future, and... If, if you are able to have that for the future, you've set yourself up to where you might already be ahead, uh, theoretically ahead, in terms of uh, everything else. But, anyway, I just... I, I have heard it before, and I don't remember it quote for... Or, well, I don't remember this saying or this quote, whatever. I think it's a quote. I'm going to call it a quote. Word for word. But it was basically saying that you don't... It, it sucks that you don't know that, that you're in the good times when you're in the good times until they've already uh, ended. But... Try to appreciate whatever times you're in, because they very well might be the good times. I don't know. I I might have completely butchered that, but the uh, impact and what I was trying to say is still there. Like I went through what I believe was a golden era, or at least not a crappy era. Uh, at, well, at the worst, not a crappy era. At work, uh, working in, in the factory that I talked about a couple weeks ago as an operator. There was a time uh, back then where 
it was a golden era. But I didn't know that I was in the golden era because I was in the golden era. And, you know, I had nothing else to compare it to. But I just didn't appreciate it enough. And we had a fantastic crew there for uh, three or four months. And then we all either moved to different shifts or just found something else. And it just wasn't that way. But, yeah. Um... Uh, just wanted to talk about that little bit of nostalgia. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's just me. If, Of course, you guys are always more than welcome to share your stories down in the comments. I do not mind, and I promise you, I will at least read the comment. Um, I might not reply and heart all the, co all the comments that I get, but I try to read every comment that I get on this channel because I feel like your guys' feedback is important to me. So uh, if if you have ever shared a story of yours uh, on this channel, then then first of all, thank you. But secondly, I have more than likely read your story. But yeah, that will do it for me today. And see us, guys. I do believe that that will do it for this story time video. And so, like story time video, I will see you all later. Goodbye, guys. Thank you all for watching.